Service provides world class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys How we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. It helps us identify the elements in the page. Okay. Then we are passing one parameter which is called by. Okay. And by is a abstract class. ID is a static method. Elements and locators both are same. There is no change. Okay. So driver dot find element by ID. So what is ID value? Where can I get ID value? I get for the ID value from the notepad. See, copy this. This you get from the HTML page. Yeah, we can do from copy the phrase from page itself. It's not an issue. I just copy page in Notepad from the Notepad. I'm just pasting it here, just for understanding. Anything is possible. Either you copy from HTML page or or Notepad. There is no change. Okay, fine. So I want one answer from everyone. So when I place a mouse point on find element, what is find element first? Find element is what is find element here? It is a method. Right, it's a method. So what it is returning? What the find element is returning? What is the return type of the find element? The find element return type is web element. It's a function, but it is returning. You see here, this is the return type. What is the return type it is showing? What is the return type it is showing? Web element. So what I have to do now? In the left hand side, so what I have what I have done, I got one text box. E contains username text box. What does it mean? E contains now. So what is the action I have to perform now? I have to enter the text now. So if you want to enter the text in Selenium, you have a method called send keys. Yes, E is a object. E is a web element object. E is an object. Yes. E dot. See in in Selenium, web element object both are same. Okay, you say HTML objects or you say web elements, all are same. Basically, those are the components which we interact. Okay, any way is fine. Whether you say web element or object, all are same. Okay, there's some people say HTML objects, some people say HTML elements, HTML components, web elements. Anything is fine. Basically, those are which we interact with them, right? That's it. Okay, again I'm saying send keys. So basically, what happens? What the E contains? E contains one text box called username. Fine. Then what we are trying to do? We need to enter the text. If you want to enter the text in Selenium, you have a method called send keys. So people already who are familiar in QTP, we have a method called set text. Set text means it will set the text in the text box. In Selenium, we have send keys. So that's a difference. Send keys will set the text. Will enter the text in the text box.
yeah if you say e dot it will show all the commands you can just practice all the commands what are the actions you can perform the web element you can check all the all the conditions you can check it okay <coughs> okay so what we do now we just enter the text called abc okay so what we'll do apart from that i'll just write some small logic here okay you entered abc in the text box that everybody understand you enter the text in the text box i understand but what are the text you entered in the text box i want to retrieve it back listen carefully i enter the text in the text box say abc i want to retrieve the text and check whether the value whatever you entered it is properly displaying the text box or not so how do you retrieve the text that is entered in the text box okay how do you retrieve the text that is entered in the text box somebody said get text select i want to retrieve the text that is entered in the text box anybody already familiar with selenium please provide answers okay fine let me write down the code for this let me write down the code see then you can see what i have written is correct or not see okay e is contains a text box e contains a text box called username right i am entering the text in the called abc fine that is what i have done i want to retrieve the text again if you want to retrieve the text again from the text box wherever you entered right the value what you entered as abc it will be stored for the attribute called value again i am saying when you enter the text when you enter the text in the text box abc it will be set for the attribute value means this is what we have seen in the fire bug right input id is equal to username right right or not this is what we have seen in the fire bug say yes or no input id is equal to username that's the reason we have taken username from the text from the html page right yes so what we'll do now what are the text you enter what happens right you know here so it will be set to the value so this is whatever the value you entered in the text box it will be set for the attribute called value for the attribute called value so how do you retrieve the value stored in a attribute called value see here again i'm telling here again i'm telling see here this is the content we have seen in the firebug this is the content we have seen in the firebug see here here id is an attribute this is the one we have id is a attribute or locator anything is fine this is what we used to get the to find the find the element so we have taken this fine so when is a send keys it will be set for the value Yes, definitely. So value is equal to ABC. What is happening when you say value is equal to ABC? This value is called attribute here. So if you want to retrieve the attribute values in Selenium, we have method called get attribute. If you want to retrieve the attribute values, we have a method called get attribute. So when I say get attribute of value, we get ABC back. See, place a mouse pointer on get attribute. What is the return type? Tell me. What is the return type here? what is the trend type for this method get attribute check check that string it is returning a string so whatever the text you entered it will be stored in the attribute value so when i say get attribute of value we'll get a string okay okay so whoever has told me get text get text is useful to retrieve the text that is getting displayed in a web page okay that will not helpful here to retrieve the text from a text box 
if you want to retrieve the text from a text box you have to use get attribute of value okay so i think somebody is asking to write these notes on the notepad let me write down there Okay, so whatever you set, say send keys A B C. So if you want to retrieve the value that is stored for the attribute here, Okay, so what are written? Let's uh, let me explain you here. When you see here this one, I written ID is attribute here, value is attribute here, or you you can you can say it's like properties or attributes. You can say suppose for example, if you want to retrieve the attribute values, means what is ID value here? Use the name. What is the value value here? ABC. So I use get attribute of value to retrieve ABC. It retrieves ABC output as ABC. Okay, this is for get attribute method. Okay. Okay, get text is the method we'll see afterwards, uh, not now, because uh, we need to cover basic uh, concepts still. So let's complete those, then we'll go to get text. Okay, I'm going to cover specifically with an example. Uh, no need to worry for that. Okay, so we have seen one locator called ID. Let's proceed further. Let's proceed further. I'm creating one more program now. I'm creating one more program for second one in the list. What is the second one in the list? See? The second one in the list is name. This is done. So what is the second one in the list? Name. Right? So let me cover main name name one now. Okay? So I'll create a program now. So I'll close all the programs. Close all. So I can place a mouse pointer here and say close all. It'll close all the programs. Say close all. Okay, I can run it, but it will take some time. Running always takes time. I'll run it after the after the, no after we complete some two three locators because running because it will take uh, time. Okay, so let me proceed further. Then I'll run after some time. I'm creating one more class. So what I did now find elements name locator I'm using name locator now so the program is same there is no change instead of use by dot id use by dot name but anyway I'll write the program I'll just copy paste few lines and I'll change the program see I'll just copy paste the same program see I'm not changing anything I'll just copy paste the same thing see 